People invest in renewable energy to save money. Going green and saving the planet are noble causes, but people are motivated by money. Investments in solar, wind, and geothermal are made to save money and provide security against the rising cost of unrenewable fuels. In 2016, photovoltaic panels are selling for about $1 per watt. But when we add up the cost of mounting supports, inverters, batteries, site surveys, permits, inspections, and labor, the total cost for a PV system is closer to $4 per watt. In other words, the cost of a 10 kilowatt system runs about $40,000 after the tax credit rebates. It normally takes between two and three days for installers to install a 10K grid-tied system, but it takes about three months to have the system approved by the building department and the power company. The payback period for a PV-powered grid-tied system could be less than 10 years, and a homeowner might expect to double his investment over the life expectancy of the system if all the panels are oriented in the right direction and there are no shadows to block sunlight. Unfortunately, most people are not in a position to make an initial investment of $40,000. The research being done on thin film PV technology is encouraging, and this technology will eventually be incorporated into roofing and siding materials to reduce installation cost. In addition, permit and inspection expenses will also become more affordable in the future. Solar thermal systems are not as highly regulated as PV systems, so the initial investment is lower for do-it-yourself solar thermal systems. Black asphalt roofs are difficult to work on when the sun is high in the sky, and shingles melt under the intense sunlight and burn when you touch them. It sure would be nice to hold on to some of that heat and save it for a rainy day. If you are tired of waiting for high-tech, highly regulated solar-powered systems to become affordable, then you may be interested in low-tech solar thermal applications that can be built and installed by anyone with rudimentary carpentry and plumbing skills. Welcome to the wonderful world of low-cost, low-tech, do-it-yourself solar thermal. Pneumatic and hydraulic do-it-yourself systems normally pay for themselves in less time than PV powered systems as long as the homeowner is willing to do the construction and installation. Solar heated air systems use interior walls as well as the furnishings of the house to store heat. A solar greenhouse is a simple low-cost retrofit that can be used to supplement home heating and also provide a nurturing atmosphere for seedlings. During the day, solar heated air is funneled into the house where heat is transferred into walls and furnishings. A practical solar heating system depends on the homeowner's environmental needs. If we combine the growing advantages of a solar greenhouse with the space-saving advantages of a vertical solar heating system, we can create a sun space. Sun spaces and solar greenhouses are both isolated from the main living areas of the house. For this reason, heat may be pumped into the house during the day and provide a barrier against heat loss at night for both systems. Differential controllers may also be used to automate the net heat gain process. Hydronic solar hot water systems also use differential controllers to automate solar heat gain. Water has the advantage of being a more efficient way of transferring heat than air. An equivalent volume of water transfers 34,000 times more heat than an equivalent volume of air. This means that a set of collectors with a surface area of 64 square feet and an efficiency of 50 percent has the ability to collect about 150,000 BTUs of heat on an average sunny day in Heartland, USA. 150,000 BTUs is the fuel oil equivalent found in one gallon of number two fuel oil. Of course, all days will not be as sunny as some days. If they were, we should be able to collect the fuel oil equivalent of 365 gallons of fuel oil per year for a set of collectors like this. Of course, approximating the value of solar energy available will depend on more than surface area and location. 
since the cost of energy is always changing. Right now, there is a glut of unprocessed oil available that's keeping oil prices down. Once the unprocessed fuel is used up, energy prices will rise again as oil supplies dwindle. Now is a good time to jump on the do-it-yourself solar thermal bandwagon.